my friends and welcome to Art Fashion Channel. I'm Daria, the artist who paints on clothes. And in this video, I'm gonna follow three Bob Pros tutorials on one t-shirt. And I'm probably the last uh, artist on YouTube who hasn't followed Bob Pros tutorials yet. Probably because of I don't like to paint landscapes like at all. But I hope that Magic Bob Ross tutorials will change it. <laughs> uh, so to make it a bit more challenging, I decided to follow three tutorials. Uh, so artworks will be very small and it will be hard to paint all these little details. And also I want to follow tutorials step by step, using same techniques, same tools, like palette knife for example. Even though canvas and t-shirt are so different and oil paints and fabric paints, which I'm gonna use, are so different too. But let's see how it will turn out. <laughs> let's get started. And first I'm fixing t-shirt on the cardboard. And then I'm making tiny canvases on my t-shirt using masking tape. The name of the first tutorial which I'm gonna follow is Evergreen Valley. I chose it randomly, I hope it's not the hardest one. So as you can see, a Bob Ross canvas has uh, the gradient from black to white. So first I'm gonna create such gradient. And I'm using black and white colors and I'm blending them together to create gradient. And now I'm gonna use this pink color, uh, Bob Ross calls it Elizarin Crimson, but the name of my color is more simple, Roseberry. <laughs> and now I'm using blue to paint sky. And to be able to blend it out, this blue color, I need to add also white color. Uh, Bob Ross canvas has a white under there, which is wet, because he uses oil paints. But I use fabric paints, which are like acrylics and they dry so fast, so I need to add white color to be able to blend something out. And the iconic moment, cleaning the brush. And if you don't make this step, you don't follow Bob Ross tutorial. <laughs> I also need a rag though to dry my brush. And painting with palette knife. I don't have a same shape palette knife like Bob Ross uses. I have just rounded palette knives. Uh, so don't know will I be able to paint with them, but I'm gonna fix my mistakes with brush anyway. <laughs> Well, definitely my palette knives are not working the same way. And now Bob said, bravery test. Let's paint a big happy mountain! <laughs> and you know guys, I feel myself much more confident now because the first mountain turned out well, I can say. And even though I'm still struggling with palette knife, it's interesting <laughs> because it's challenging. And I feel myself like a student again. It's such an amazing feeling. And blending, blending, blending. And now happy little trees on the background. Uh, Bob Ross uses a fan brush, but I don't have a fan brush. Uh, actually I have, but it's just too big for this tiny artwork. So I'm using my small flat brush. Thank you. 
And now I'm painting, and uh, let me quote, all kind of happy little things which are happening back here. <laughs> And here I understand that there is not enough space for the second row of trees which Bob Ross is gonna paint, so I decided to enlarge my canvas. And more happy little trees. And now I'm painting big old tree with a friend, of course. Stone. And the final part, let me quote again, the old little tree which had a bad day. Bob Ross talks so 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 sweet, my heart just melts. <laughs> And the second tutorial, name of it is Storm on the Horizon, it's a seascape and I think I have a perfect size canvas for this one. And I'm starting with blue, of course following the tutorial. And happy little cloud, white cloud. Purple cloud. And even though blending is much much more harder than if I would use oil paints, I'm trying my best to create smooth transitions. And waterline. Uh, Bob Ross hand moves so smoothly and I'm just fighting with the fabric. <laughs> And painting waves! Well guys, what can I say? It is the second day of me following Bob Ross tutorials. I decided to paint one artwork a day uh, to work in a slow mode, you know. And I'm just having so much fun. Just so calming. It's just like a real art therapy. Uh, his voice, his explanation, his quotes. It's so cute just like escaping from this crazy reality. I'm living in my imaginary world now, painting happy little trees and mountains, and it's the best experience I've ever had, I can say. And really, I begin to love painting landscapes, and it says a lot. And my favorite palette knife part, <laughs> and I'm definitely messing it up. Uh, maybe because of the wrong knife, uh, or maybe because of this artwork is just so small and I can't move my hand so freely as Bob Ross does. Whatever is the reason, I am fixing all the mess with brush. <laughs> Thank you. 
and now I'm painting big old stone. And now we're painting sand dune, little happy of course. Greens which live on it. And old palm tree. And the third tutorial, name of it is Evening's Glow. I chose it because it has a different color scheme. It's gonna be yellowish and brownish. And I start with yellow and then as I don't have an ochre color, I created by mixing brown with uh, orange, with yellow and with white. And this tutorial is gonna be very difficult because there is a lot of blending. Bob Ross creates such a beautiful smooth sky and I need to work hard to be able to create such sky too. And now I add a raspberry color and by the way this color, Elizabeth Crimson, is one of the favorite colors of Bob Ross. And brown. And just blending, 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 non-stop blending. <laughs> and painting with fingers. I use my little finger because my artwork is so tiny. <laughs> and heels on the background. Well, I'm definitely late on this trend because following Bob Ross tutorials was such a big trend last year. But you know, when everybody was doing it, I just didn't want to do it. But now I decided to try it, you know. I thought that it's gonna be a very interesting video because I think nobody has ever followed Bob Ross tutorials on the t-shirt. And hell yeah, it's gonna be a very beautiful t-shirt. A bit more struggles with palette knife. And now again bravery test, nice little heel. <laughs> Little family of trees.
and house. Uh, Bob Ross paints it with a knife but enough struggles for today. I'm not able to paint such a small house with a palette knife so I paint it with a brush. Entry with a friend. And the little baby tree. <laughs> and he said, sign your artwork and I'm signing it. Well, I'm so, so, so proud of myself. I did it. <laughs> and now I guess the most satisfying part. And I decided to write all these cutest quotes which I've been listening to for three days. Uh, I wrote them down, I'm gonna write some of them on the t-shirt. Just quotes which Bob Ross said in the tutorials which I followed. So this way this t-shirt is gonna be very meaningful for me. Let's add a bit happy accidents. And painting is finished. You know guys, at the end of the third day I was googling. Bob Ross died? 1995? Oh no! <laughs> because I feel that he is my friend now. We worked together, he helped me to create this amazing t-shirt and he made me fall in love with landscapes and seascapes. And I swear to you guys, I was hating to paint landscapes and I painted them a lot at school. And it means I just had a wrong teacher. And I hope I encouraged you guys to follow Bob Pro tutorials or even just watch them. It just real like it just an escape from all this craziness from the news to this happy world of little happy trees. <laughs> and I hope guys you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to smash that like button and if you are new here subscribe for more videos like this. And I hope to see you next time. Fashion is art. Bye-bye.